So, alam ko medyo marami talagang requirements in getting married here in the Philippines. So, make sure that you are marrying the right person so that you're only doing it once. Hi everyone, it's Charm again and welcome back to my channel where we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting health tools. So for this video, you guys know that I got married a few months ago and typically when you get married, excited excited tayong lahat about planning the wedding, the reception, the dress, the food, and etc. Right? But what most people don't realize is that it's a legal binding contract that you're going into and there are bound to be a lot of legality that you have to deal with before the big day. So it's pretty confusing because most of us are doing it for the first and probably only time in our life. So let me walk you guys through the necessary requirements and steps that you have to go through whether you're doing a church or a civil wedding. So I'm going to be talking about the state requirements and the church requirements as well. I am going to be breaking down all the expenses in our wedding in a separate video but before the fun stuff, let's do the legalities first in this video. So if you guys are getting married, then please keep on watching. So I'll be discussing this video in order of state requirements, church requirements, and then the process that you have to go through. So obviously, if you're doing a civil wedding, then you don't need to go over the church requirements. So you can just skip that. I'll put the chapters in this video as well. Okay, so for the state application, this is the legal marriage contract that you have to apply to be legally married here in the Philippines. So these are the requirements that you have to prepare. So first is the PSA birth certificates. They will need one original copy and two photocopies. So you can order this online or you can go to your local PSA office. We got ours online and it cost 420 pesos each. So that's 840 pesos for the couple. Next is the latest certificate of no marriage or this is also what they call senumar or certificate of singleness. You also need an original copy and two photocopies. Again, you can order this this from PSA online or go to their office. It costs 380 pesos each. So that's 760 pesos. Next is a certificate of attendance in a pre-marriage counseling. Now you will be scheduling this when you head over to the local civil registry's office and it is going to be held in the city health office and you both have to be there. It costs us 100 pesos for the seminar. Next is you will be needing a valid ID, the original and two photocopies. It has to show that one or both of you you are a resident of the city, province, or municipality that you are applying the marriage certificate in. So another requirement is a barangay certificate. And this is to prove your residency. And for us, pinalagay talaga nila yung length of stay also in the area or in the barangay. Next is a community tax certificate. Or this is your cedula, which you can get from a barangay, city hall, etc. And the price of this depends on your income. So I'll put a table here on how much your positive possibly going to be paying for this. You probably get a cedula every year already, so you can use that na lang. Next is a completed marriage license application form issued by the local civil registry office. So they will be giving you the form and every time you ask for the form, may bayad yan. So in our experience, it was 50 pesos. Kasama na sa requirements yung official receipt of everything that you've paid for, the seminar, the forms of marriage certificate, and stuff like that. So next are two recent ID pictures with white background. So I thought at first na kailangan to for everyone but we prepared and hindi siya hiningi ng local civil registry office namin. So those are the general requirements but there are some case-to-case -case basis wherein you might be marrying a foreigner or you're between 18 to 21 years old or you have the same middle name, family name, etc. And you will have other requirements. So let me just go through them quickly. So first is if you're between 18 to 25 years old. So if you're 18 to 21 years old, you need a notarized parental consent. If you are between 21 to 25 years old, you need a notarized parental advice or your sworn statement if your parents refuse to sign a parental advice. All of these forms are available in your local civil registry's office. And the next are two valid IDs of the parents and their personal appearance. So they have to go with you. And So next is a death certificate of the deceased spouse if you are widow 
include next is a certificate of finality of annulment from the court one original and two photocopies and certificate of registration from the local civil registry one original and two photocopies if you are annulled so meaning you have been married before and you have filed and finalized your annulment in court then you need that as proof again to supplement that you are indeed single and you can remarry and the next are additional requirements if you are a foreigner or marrying a foreigner so first is a certificate of legal capacity to marry or this is called an affidavit or affirmation of marital status this is issued by the consular's office or embassy of the foreigner's country and then lastly is a photocopy of passport that showed the date of arrival also they want to make sure that you're up to family code na you can't marry people who are related to you so especially if you have like the same middle name and last name and etc they're going to make sure and ask you for proof that you are not related so you can't be related up to fourth civil degree which is like first cousins so parang second cousins and etc pwede na. For the most part for the base general requirements you will be spending around 2,050 pesos this doesn't include the cedula that you will be paying for like I said it depends on your income also the photocopies and um, the fares and etc. Okay next let's talk about the requirements for church weddings. First is they will require your marriage license. This is for new applicants and it is valid for four months so make sure that you apply within four months before your target wedding date and next if you already got married like you already had a civil wedding before your church wedding so they will be needing an authenticated marriage contract copy and if it's a marriage between filipinos and foreigners or catholics and non-catholics then you will be needing a written permission from the archdiocese and chancellor next is you'll be needing a newly issued bsa birth certificate so you can use the same one as a state requirement because they only need photocopies but the validity is six months before your wedding date so make sure that you have a newly issued one within that validity period next is you need a baptismal certificate with annotation that it is for purposes of marriage so you do need to get a new one and it has to be the original copy this really depends on the church you were baptized in but it costs typically between 50 to 200 pesos this also has a validity of six months next is a confirmation certificate and very similar to the baptismal certificate they need an original copy they need it to be annotated that it's for the purpose of marriage and they also need something that has been issued in the last six months this typically costs between 50 to 320 pesos and then next is you need a marriage bans result so you need this to be published in your church so this depends kung saan kayo nakatira or which parish you attend so you need one for the bride and the groom so this will be in your parish's publication for three consecutive Sundays so make sure that you have enough time before your wedding date and this costs us between 200 to 800 pesos so again it depends on the parish or the church next is a permit from the bride's parish if she is not getting married in her parish so the groom doesn't need this just the bride and it costs between 200 to 400 pesos so you will need a pre cana seminar certificate this is valid for one year so it is advised that you schedule this right away if you are within one year of your wedding date because it typically takes some time for you to schedule this and it's best to get this out of your way you can do this at any catholic church and some pre canas last for two to five hours so half a day some takes a whole day um some takes a whole weekend three days etc so it really depends on you so this typically costs between 500 to maybe 1000 pesos with meals yung salmon we spent a 2000 pesos in total for both of us next is a copy of your wedding invitation it doesn't have to be the actual wedding invitation it can be like a photocopy or print out um i think the purpose of this is to know your principal sponsors because the next requirement is you need at least two pairs of principal sponsors so they will serve as witnesses to your um wedding to your marriage and they will be signing the marriage contract so minimum is two pairs lang but i know most filipino weddings have like five ten or even more pairs there are other churches wherein they will 
ask for additional payments if you have more principal sponsors. So in our church, I think it was between 50 to 100 pesos per pair. You need to submit all those requirements before the last requirement, which is the canonical interview. So this is an interview done by the chapel rector for the couple. So usually pwede din ang officiant or ang priest ng um, parish or church that you're getting married in that will conduct this interview. So again, you have to schedule ahead of time and make sure you have enough time for this. So ours was first and third Wednesday of the month only. So we had to make sure all the requirements was done like at least a month or two before our wedding date because yung canonical interview has to be done prior to that as well. So all documents must be complete and submitted already in the office before you even schedule this interview. And it's just an interview to make sure that you are voluntarily getting married. You're not under duress. Your intentions of getting married are pure in the church's eye and stuff like that. So it was really a quick just getting to know the officiant and priest then. So it took maybe like 15, 20, 30 minutes lang. So the total for church requirements really differs and depends on which church you got baptized, confirmed, and which church you're getting married in. But it ranges between 1,300 to 4,050 pesos. And this excludes the church's wedding rates. So a church's wedding rate depends on if you are air-conditioned or not, um, if you're in the province or in the city. But just to give you an idea for a non-air conditioned church maybe it ranges between 5 to 15,000 pesos and for an air conditioned church it ranges between 20,000 to 50,000 pesos okay now that we've gone over the requirements that you need and I know they were a lot let's go over the step-by-step -step process of how you're going to go about ano ba uunahin mo how are you gonna get these where are you going to go and etc so first and foremost what we did was we had to canvas and book a church because you need the date of your wedding and the next is to go to your local civil registry office or the LCRO and schedule a seminar. First is get a priority number for marriage application and then when it's your turn they're going to go over the steps and tell you how to go about them what are the things you need so they're gonna make sure also that you have valid IDs you live in the area at least ask these casual questions and then they are going to schedule you in for a PMC premarital counseling seminar that we talked about earlier and make sure that you guys are available for that time and date because hassle na if you have to reschedule and then lastly is they will give you a list of requirements and what you will need based on the questions they've asked you next is while you're waiting for your seminar date it would be best if you go ahead and start collecting the things you need for your marriage application so for example go to your barangay hall so that you can start collecting your barangay certificate your cedula and then order the necessary documents from PSA like your senomar your birth certificate um, you can even start collecting for your church requirements as well so your baptismal certificate your confirmation certificate so in my case I wasn't confirmed so I had to get confirmed like a few months before the wedding then once the date of your seminar rolls in attend that for us it was like around two hours so like kind of half a day, like 1 to 3, 30 p.m., ganon. And since one compound lang yung city health office namin where the seminar was conducted and yung local civil registry office namin, what we did was, this is a tip, my husband went and photocopied the certificate for attending the seminar and ako naman, I got a number sa... LCRO and lined up already for my turn. So most couples will do this as well. So be the first to go there. Wag na kayong magsama sa photocopy area. So if you make it before cut off, when you submit your certificate for attending the seminar, they're going to give you forms. This is the forms that you will be filling up wherein you need to not make any mistakes. So they would suggest for you to photocopy the form first, write down all the details, and then transfer it to the actual form. So, nagkamali ako. So, we had to pay for the forms again and I had my husband fill out the forms because he's more diligent and more careful when it comes to that. So, typically, if you have more time, you can get the form, um, go to the side and fill up all the necessary requirements and submit it again. But, in our case, since ginawa nga namin yung seminar and yung submission of the certificate in one day, mas mabuti na lang yung inuwi na lang namin yung forms to fill it up. Next, is when you have submitted 
all the forms, all your requirements. They're going to check if it's all complete. Then you're going to have to wait 10 business days before you can claim your marriage license. So they're going to give you guys a claim slip for this and this is what you'll be needing for the church as well. That brings us to our next step. Have all your church requirements and your marriage license and submit all of these to the church. And then this is where you will be scheduling your canonical interview if they find that complete na yung lahat na requirements and yung mga babayaran mo. And then after the canonical interview, you can get married. So when you get married, make sure that you sign the marriage contract, your witnesses sign the contract, and then enjoy the rest of the night. And then two, three months later, you can either visit visit the local civil registry office to ask a copy of your final marriage license. In our case, we requested two months after the wedding and hindi pa siya available. So if you're in a hurry, like you're using it for legalities or for visa applications and stuff like that, then make sure that you visit the office instead of just ordering online. Kasi if you order online, you are still going to be paying even though hindi sure na ready na yung marriage contract or marriage license nyo. So, this is what they sent us. They just sent us a confirmation na they didn't have it in their system or records yet that we were married. So, nasayang lang yung like 300 pesos that we paid for by ordering it online. But according to some of my friends, they ordered like 4 or 5 months after and the PSA website and nakuha naman nila yung PSA marriage license nila. So, yeah. If you're in a hurry, I've heard people getting it like four, eight weeks after their wedding. So typically kasi yung church na yung magpa-forward ng marriage contract to your local civil registry office. But if nagmamadali ka, some will allow na you get a copy of the contract in the church or in the city hall or whatever and then you deliver it yourself in the local registry office. So yeah, in total, you will be spending around 3,350 pesos up to 6 1,100 pesos. So, alam ko medyo marami talagang requirements in getting married here in the Philippines. So, make sure that you are marrying the right person so that you're only doing it once. So, if you guys found this video helpful, then send this to your significant other or to your friends who are also getting married. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload another video. Like I said, I'll be putting up a video next of all of my expenses for our wedding. So, if you guys didn't subscribe yet then you might miss that so make sure to watch out for that and again i'm charm and i will see you in my next video sorry again again